Hey guys, Linda Vodder here, and welcome to my garden on this absolutely brilliant sunny day. Well, spring finally decided to arrive across America. I am loving this sunshine. I bet you do too. And to celebrate, I'm putting together a really gorgeous hanging basket for a friend of mine. She kind of thinks that if a plant doesn't have fragrance, it doesn't even deserve a spot in the garden. So she is going to adore this because the queen of this arrangement is scent amazing gardenias from Southern Living. I just put one in the middle and then I filled it around the edge with some trailing flowers and some vining ground cover. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I think where she'll probably hang it will be where she sits in the evening and that scent will just kind of waft and surround her with its gorgeous gardenia fragrance. So let me show you how I put it together with scent amazing gardenias. Okay, this couldn't be easier, and you really don't even need to assemble that many things to put it all together. The first is just a large 20 inch, it's, it is a hanging basket, it's kind of a wrought iron hanging basket. Its size will accommodate a pretty large shrub, and that's what I love about these scent amazings, or at least one of the things. Its mature size is just about two and a half feet by three feet, both in height and in width, so it's going to be perfect for this kind of container um, cultivation. So basically what I did was I got this basket, it's got a coir liner, and I wanna protect the coir liner so it doesn't decompose um, over time, and that is what is going to help. This is just a dry cleaner bag that I've punched some holes in. So I'm basically just gonna form fit it to the inside. I can even let it kind of cascade over the edges because I can tuck it in after I put it all together. Again, make sure that you punch holes in it. And then I'm just taking this gorgeous gardenia. Ooh, I can smell its scent even from just that one blossom. But look guys, look at all those buds. It's just gonna be fabulous. I'm loosening up the root ball. This is a larger shrub, probably about two gallons, but you could use multiple one gallons if you like. And then I'm just going to again rough up the middle, rough up the center to get those roots teased out. And I've put together a combination of a blend that is going to be really great for this hanging basket because I want to minimize the weight as much as possible. So this is a combination here of two parts potting soil, a moisture control potting soil that's also got some slow release fertilizer in it. And then there's another part perlite and one part peat moss. So that's two part soil, one part peat moss, one part perlite. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that at the base and kind of around the perimeter. And then all you have to do is really just decide on what plants you want to cascade over the side to make for some great spilling action. And I think this trailing lobelia is going to be beautiful because I'm doing this one for me. It's kind of like Christmas shopping. You make one for someone else and you make one for yourself at the same time. So I'm going to put in some lobelia because I love this color, but I also love the chartreuse of this gold money wart. So I am going to use lots of it and just kind of tuck it around. And then also to give it a little bit more body, I'm tucking in some Dusty Miller. So basically, I will just take these three different plants and I'll just alternate them all around the perimeter. And really, don't be afraid to pack it really tightly. That's the beautiful thing about these containers is you can, you can pack them really tightly for maximum dramatic effect. And then basically, I'm gonna water it in really well. And then basically hang it in kind of a full sun to part shade area and preferably where you'll really be able to appreciate the scent of these fabulous gardenias. Can you imagine how gorgeous that's going to be when all of these buds are in full bloom? I think it's going to really be just spectacular. And so there you have it. Just use a hanging basket as a container for your scent amazing gardenia. And one other thing, it's hardy down to zero degrees. So it's perfect for, uh, for zone seven and up gardens, but 
even if it's not frost hardy, it's a hanging basket, so you can bring it inside if the temperatures really plummet like they did this winter here in Oklahoma City. So there you have it. Give it a try, and if you do, send us a picture because we'd love to see what you put together with Scent Amazing Gardenias. And there you go. I think it looks pretty incredible. It's ready to hang. All of this beauty, all of this fragrance, and all compliments of Scent Amazing Gardenias from the Southern Living Plant Collection.